Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Chat Manager. This Chat Manager plugin is full of features from chat formatting to private staff messages to anti-spam and anti-bot features, broadcasting and many more. You can find all of the features listed on the plugin page. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and search for chat manager, like so. Install the version that is compatible with your server and then restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. For this plugin to work, you are required to have a permissions plugin and vault installed. There are also other optional dependencies which you can find on the plugin page. Like I mentioned before, this plugin has a ton of features, some of which you won't need. So what the developer has done is that if you don't need a feature, you can actually disable it in the config. It's really that simple. Now, when I join the game with the default config, what you can see on screen now are join messages, message of the day and auto broadcast messages displaying over here in the chat. There's really just a lot of things happening. When I type in chat, you can see that the formatting is different too. You can also include color codes and other formatting codes in the chat as well. Of course, you can decide who gets to use those using permissions. Another thing you can do is interact with the chatbot, but only if you have it enabled. As you can see, it replies to certain messages which can be customized in the config. As for commands, there are plenty. If you type in slash chat manager help, you will see a help menu that will guide you through all of them. For example, you can do things like global announcements and warnings with slash announcement and slash warning commands. You can mute the chat and clear the chat with slash mute chat and slash clear chat commands. Of course, since I have all the permissions, I get to bypass these. You can even see a list of auto broadcasting messages here in game. And you can also either remove or add more with commands. There are many, many more commands, but for now, let's go and see what we can change in the config. If you want to find out all of the commands, you can check the plugin page or the wiki. You can locate the chat manager configs in the plugin folder. Here you have different files for different features, such as the auto broadcaster feature, which automatically displays messages every so often. You can have these per world or global, as well as different types of messages, like title, action bar messages, or normal chat messages if you wanted. Then these two files just here are the band commands and the band words. If you don't want someone using a certain command or a certain word in game, put them in these files here. The chatbot feature can be found here. This is basically a bot that gets triggered by a specific message. You can add your own triggers and set it up as you like. Or if you don't need it, just disable it right here. You can customize all of the messages for this plugin and the rules if you have that enabled. These can be changed in the appropriate files. Now to the actual main config file. This config file is laid out and commented very clearly, just like the previous ones. So I won't be going over everything. Like I mentioned previously, a great thing about this plugin is that you can toggle each feature on or off. So under every option here, like anti-advertising for example, you can toggle different things on or off. It's really all up to you. Then going lower, you have a bunch of anti-spam and anti-bot features. There is a broadcasting feature and here is what a lot of people would be interested. The chat formatting setting. This will essentially format the chat however you decide. You can add prefixes here if you wanted, which can be done for any group. Another thing is that if you have placeholder API, you can use any of those placeholders here too. Or if you don't have it, there are some inbuilt placeholders as well. Just below this, you can toggle if you want chat radius. This means only people within a certain distance of each other are able to see the messages. Then you have more chat options. And here under the messages section, you can actually change the join and leave messages, as well as notifications when a player joins. Then there are more things like pair world chat and private messaging options, as well as the spy options and staff chat options. Like I said, there are many features in this plugin. You're going to have to check them all out and see if you need them on your server. If you don't, you can just toggle it off. And if you don't understand something, there's always the plugin page and the wiki to help you out. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. 
If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.